In this video, I'll show you how to use the latest large language model Clot 3.5 Sonnet with audio data in Python. Here's a quick demo of the application we're going to be building. It first takes in an audio or video file. In this case, I'm using an audio recording of a phone call. And once it does that, it summarizes that file we have given it by summarizing the transcript. And then we are able to ask questions on this audio file and it makes use of Claude 3.5 Sonnet in order to answer these questions. So let me ask a question of what's the most, what's the most important thing in this call? and it generates an answer making use of the large language model Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So let's go ahead and get started on how we can build this application. Before we get started, the first thing you wanna do is download Assembly AI's Python SDK. So you can go into terminal and copy pip install Assembly AI. And once you have done that, let's head on over to Visual Studio Code. Now let's hop on over to this empty Python file in Visual Studio and start writing our code. I've included some comments to guide us along the way. First thing we want to do is import Assembly AI's Python SDK. So let's do import Assembly AI. The next step is defining Assembly AI's API key. You can get a free Assembly AI API key by signing up with the link in the description box below. This will allow you to transcribe 100 hours of audio or video files for free. Next, let's define our audio file. In this case, I'm going to be making use of an existing URL of an audio file. Once we have that, let's set up our transcriber object. So transcriber equals to assemblyai.transcriber. And the first thing we wanna do is generate our transcript before passing it on to Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So let's do transcript equals to transcriber dot transcribe. And then here we pass in audio file. As you saw in the demo before, what we did was first generate a summary of our audio file. And in order to do that, what we wanna do is take our transcript, which has been generated right here in this variable and pass that to Assembly AI's lemur framework, which will make use of Claude 3.5 to generate a summary of that transcript. And then we also wanna print it out. So let's do result equals to transcript dot lemur dot task and the first thing we want to do is enter a prompt. So here I will be saying, I'm sending you a, tra a transcript of a video. Please summarize it. And I'll ask you questions on it. Once we have done that, let's enter the second variable of this task method, which is the final model. In this case, we want to use specifically Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So let's do and hit save. Finally, we want to print that result. So let's do print result.response. To ensure our application is working as it should, let's pause it right here and run it to make sure our summary is being generated. So we're back in terminal and I've just run our Python file and it seems that our summary is being generated accurately. 
The next step of our application is creating a chat feature where we're able to ask questions. So in step two, I want to start writing code to create that interactive chat feature. So the first thing I want to do is write a print statement saying type exit to quit the chat. And then while true, we'll start inputting a prompt. The first thing we want to check is ensure that the user has not typed exit. So if a user actually types exit, we'll exit the chat. Now the next scenario is when the user actually gives a proper prompt. In this case, we will just simply create result equals to transcript dot lemur dot task and submit prompt as our first parameter of a prompt and then submit our final model as the second parameter. And in this case, we're of course using Claude 3.5. And once we have done this, all we have to do is print the result. Let's hit save and let's go back into terminal and run this. So we're in terminal, we're running this again. And as usual, a summary has been generated and we also now have a chat feature. So we can go ahead and ask more questions. So there you go. This is how you can build a really simple chatbot, which is able to answer questions based on what audio files or video files you have passed it using Claude 3.5 Sonnet and Assembly AI. For more speech AI tutorials making use of large language models, check out this next video right here, which shows you how you can build a talking AI voice bot. And if you're interested in building more applications with Assembly AI, check out our amazing documentation, which I will be leaving in the description box below.